Please join me in an attitude of prayer. Avinu Malkenu, our Father and our King, the smallest, yes, great, yet greatest word in any language is I am. The smallest, since it represents me, yet the greatest, since it is the personal name of the eternal God, creator of heaven and earth. It is in your name, great I am, the one who is eternal, the one I call Adonai, that I pray to you today. You, Adonai, called Abraham out of the land of Ur, met him while on the road, and gave him a new name. You, great Adonai, wrestled with Abraham's grandson and gave him a new name, the name that has identified his descendants for millennia and has defined the land of their inheritance for those same millennia, Israel a people whom you love, O oh, great God of Abraham, a people whose homeland has been brutally attacked yet again. And now I come to agree with you, Adonai, your chosen people, the Jews, and your claimed nation, Israel, have every right to defend and affirm their right to exist and flourish. There have been persecutions and words of anti-Semitism worldwide. Cinnabounds, hidden under the veils of religion, religious freedom, and freedom from religion. I know, whatever the reason, all acts of violence and all words of hate break your heart. I pray you break my heart, even as yours breaks. Let me see through your eyes, Abba. Let my heart weep for your people. I stand on the walls as a watchman and guardian of the holy city, her residence and her land. At the same time, I also pray for everyone whose lives have been impacted by this war, the war between the people of God and Hasatan, the accuser of the brethren. Israeli, Gazan, Egyptian, Iranian, Saudi Arabian, Jordanian, Iraqi, and any other family that has been impacted. I know what religious hate can birth, and I pray for peace and for comfort for all of them. And I pray that your truth will be seen. Lord, I never want to cease to pray for the peace of Jerusalem, the peace of Israel, and for your holy city. And may I never, ever forget that that peace only comes through Yeshua HaMashiach, through Jesus the Messiah, the great I am in human form. And may you come swiftly and in your timing, and please lift the veil from the eyes of your people so that they may see Yeshua for who he is, and so the world will learn to love you, your word, your people, and your land. And I ask that many more hearts are stirred to pray, and that those hearts are filled with the longing I have for the lost and for the returns of millions, both Jew and Gentile, to you. How I long for the day you give me my new name, Lord. And how I long to hear the new names you give to all those who love and serve you. I thank you, God, of everyone and everything for hearing my prayer and moving in my heart. Hashem Yeshua and in the name of Jesus, our Messiah. Amen. <laughs> 